second dance and griffin's occasional series being youtube tutorials today we're back to one of my favorites that's image processing and today we're looking at uh, de-blurring and denoising and just to say uh, the credit for this work the image the intellectual property is from there so uh, we have an image f we have some distortion operator and in the spatial domain that's called the point spread function and the point spread function is the thing that does the distortion so that could be the lens open too long could be the thing out of focus it could be the the lens might be screwed in rightly into the body of the camera you know. and n here is the noise so you know you might be shooting it late at night or there might be dust on the camera lens or something along those lines so ideally for all of them if you you should really know what is the distortion if you know what the distortion well then it's easier to recover but chances are you don't and anyway even when you do know you see things aren't always a success so we have the original image there. Um, excuse me. Uh, we're going to do a motion filter there. Just there and there and filtering it. And oh yeah, it's sorry, it's a motion filter, a length of 31 and an angle of 11. So you see we get this blur here. So we're going to try and get that back to where we started. There are the four uh, function supervisors in the IP2 box. And simplest to most complicated. Okay. Simplest, probably quickest, but you need to know exactly what your point spread function here is. Here, you can let MATLAB do the work for you, and it doesn't really work all the time. So first one up is the Wiener filter. So we have the blurred image, we've showed it, and there's our Wiener filter. So you'd say, huh, that's a bit of a waste of time. A lot of speckle here, and uh, well, that's the way it is, and you're not going to do much better. And now there are ways of getting around the speckle, but as we get, that's what's the best that's going to happen. You're not going to improve on that. Now the regular filter, let me just unzoom a little bit. So there's our tissue, one of the standard ones. A Gaussian blur. Okay, not explaining the Gaussian filter here. I have to assume you know something. Uh, I've created a bit of noise as well. So there's my blurred and noisy image. And there's my deconvolved regular, my regular deconvolution. And just unzoom a little bit. And there's my restored image. So again, not too good. That's the restored. And that's the original. So if you're trying to identify cells here, yeah, it's not good. I mean, that may be in real life, but you can see that's our best attempt at restoring it. It's hard. So next one up is Lucy Richardson. So what does Lucy Richardson do for you? Reduced effective noise amplification, non-uniform image quality, you know, bad pixels here. Some of the pixels on the CMOS are dead. Camera readout noise, background noise, etc. etc. Uh, just to mention ringing here, we're going to get reaching 
ringy in the uh, the kind of blind as the blind one but we s just so just in case if you're really new to this i'm just going to go down to the very end so ringing here this is from uh, the last uh, image processing one to you see around the high resolution bits and what do I mean by high resolution remember the low resolution bits will give you the general image and the high resolution will give you the spatial refinement so this if, if you can remember you have the black coat and the light gray background so you need a lot of high frequencies there to describe what's going on so when you run the Lucy Richardson and the decon blind when you try and denoise it and blur it you're going to get a lot of ringing around the high frequency elements here just trying to pick it up apologies now for just one sec oh yeah we're there so So we're going to try and reduce the ringing by damping. Now you know, we're into the uh, the signal processing element here, and which again I'm not dealing with today, but we just assume you know something. So we mentioned there you might have bad pixels. You know, the on the cheaper uh, image sensors, you know, the, where the quality control of the image sensor might be low you might get areas which don't quite uh, gather the light as well as as others so there we have the original image we've done a gaussian blur uh, we've made up a bit of noise So there's our blurred and noisy image. And now we're going to use uh, Lucy Richardson. So that's decon, decon Lucy. And there's our restored image. So again, not great. The noise is still there. You can play around with the number of iterations. I've used 15. The default is 10 you might use less you might use more but that would be to uh, try and get rid of the ringing and the noise but just you'd have to play with it yourself and now with the blind deconvolution algorithm and it's a maximum likelihood estimator like deconvolusi and the thing about this is it the claim is you don't need to know what the point spread function is. In other words, you don't need to know what allegedly the source of the contamination is. But again, so we have a motion one here, a motion. Uh, and there's our blurring operator. There, just where we are. And so there's the point spread function. That's the thing that does the, the distortion. There's our blurred image. And the thing about the blind algorithm here, uh, you can just let it guess and it'll, it'll have a go. And then it keeps iterating until it finds the most stable outcome. The most stable outcome is the one that it shows. So we've done 30 iterations there, and there's our restored image. Again, not great, and especially, as I mentioned before, the ringing er around the high-frequency artifacts are particularly noticeable. So, oh yeah, and there's our restored point spread function, which you can't really see there. So just in conclusion, if you're, no matter what anybody tells you, if your image is 
corrupt. What I mean by corrupt is if a, if there's a dis, a point spread function or there's some sort of distortion operator or noise, it's fairly hard to get it back looking. And no matter what promises are made to you, really, you have to go shoot it again. That's the long and the short of it. Okay, so hope that helps. Thanks very much for listening.